Well, cheers, nation. How y'all doing? Good to see you. You picked quite a special day to join me in my beer laboratory because today we're tasting a seasonal brew from my favorite brewery, Deschutes, which is up in Bend, Oregon. Ah, Bend. What a wonderful place to live. Um, it's on the very tippity top of my beer town bucket list for many reasons. The first being, um, I grew up in Portland, so I used to ski Mount Bachelor, which is right outside of Bend in Sun River as a kid. Um, I also have a really good friend who lives there now, so I mean, to be a good friend, I should go visit her probably. The second is it's right outside the famous Cascade Mountain Range, so that just means that there are a million things to do outside. You can take breathtaking pictures on Instagram and make everyone jealous of the life that you lead, which is basically all we're doing these days anyways, let's be honest. I don't know about you, but I want to go to this magical, mystical Bend, Oregon. So let's go! Whoa! We made it! We're in Bend, Oregon. Deschutes is named after the river that runs right behind the brewery and the tasting room. Um, it's the fifth largest brewery in the nation. I recommend you check out Deschutes.com because they have a lot of awesome recipes there, including home brewing recipes, which I haven't seen on a lot of other websites where they'll give you the clones and the um, ingredients to brew your own beer. Now on to one of Deschutes' first original beers. The Jubilee. I know it's a little uh, late in the season for me to be reviewing a winter seasonal, but I figured I'd get one more cozy beer in before spring smacks us in the face. Um, my parents, hi mom and dad, who are basically shoveling their way out of their driveway right now in New England, I think would appreciate a beer that makes them warm. So this one's for you, mom and pop. To give you a little bit more on this genre, winter warmers are a relatively new category of beer. They're usually very malty, uh, robust, and mixed with a lot of spices. Their hop bitterness is usually pretty low, um, as well as like their tartness. One of the coolest things I think about this beer is that they change their artwork annually. So they get a new artist to actually create the label. This year's artists were named Lisa and Lori. They were twins and they, it's cool, on their website they kind of talk about the artistic process and how they took fabrics and layered them one on top of each other to create this scene, which is a couple sledding in the snow with their dog. It all makes me miss Oregon a lot. Alright, don't know about you, but I have talked um, excessively about the bottle and now I am ready to drink what's in it. So, let's do this. Got my fish opener, which means I mean business. Look at this thing. Alright, so I recently learned from watching a Belgian documentary on beer that though a lot of people think you're like stiffing them if you give them a big head on your beer, you're actually supposed to do that because it releases more of the aromas and the hops and all that jazz. So. Let's look at this bad boy. The lighting in here is not amazing, but it does have kind of like a dark ruby, more like an amber, kind of like a maple amber color to it. Right off the nose, I get a little cherry, actually. Cheers, y'all. Let's do this. Mmm. I need another. Yeah, yeah, I get kind of a vanilla oak. Um, on the front, it's light and fruity. With a little bit of that vanilla and cherry. And then on the bottom is where that malt kind of packs in and sits on your tongue. So I get the Jubilee a four out of five cheers. Definitely up there. Definitely a good beer. So, as far as pricing and uh, pairing, 
I got this guy for like three bucks at Whole Foods. If you do find the jubile oil out there, I would grab it. Uh, odds are it's their last, uh, last beer that they have. I would pair this beer with pasta. Anything that has a kind of smoky or um, tomato, uh, marinara, or meat sauce. Any good beer that I review, I'm gonna say cheese, so. I hope that you guys learned something about winter warmer ales and uh, one of my favorite breweries, Deschutes. Um, cheers to Bend. I'm coming to visit you, Mallory, so get that room ready. Bend, Oregon. Whew, that was a doozy getting up here. Do you see that rhinoceros? You look pretty upset, but that's okay. Babe, you're not drinking that whole beer. Save me some of that beer. Vibe.